what is up guys welcome back to the lumsden motorsports garage i'm wade lumsden that's my brother chris lumsden uh <laughs> and uh we are doing some more on the truck tough truck uh today is uh do or die so let's get to work so it is friday um it's currently like 7 30 or 7 45 in the morning we've been out here uh for a couple hours uh didn't get done until like 2 a.m last night ish uh but been out here for a couple hours and we are working on trying to get uh bed hangers on um my brother just got off work and came over here he's exhausted i'm exhausted um we're just trying to get handful of things done um, because this has a date at 10 30 to be picked up so um, we got to be done <laughs> but uh, right now working on bed hangers and uh, body hangers I'll uh, he needs my hand so I'll get back at you okay well uh, brothers over here welding some stuff on uh, give you a rundown of what we're doing for a hanger uh, we took a piece of pipe and we bent it and then we put this uh, flat piece of uh, channel right here that we're gonna put, screw some hole or screw some holes drill some holes at the top of the the bed top edge and boop, um, bolt it down there and then we got a couple little standoffs these are the old ones off the truck uh, but a couple little standoffs and uh, that's what's gonna hang it we're kind of running short on time, so we're not going to do one in the center. Uh, but really, these four that we're going to put on, we're halfway there now. Uh, he's welding his butt off over here. Uh, um, but we're halfway there. These four should be strong enough to do do what we want to do. Um, and over here, we have uh, right. Uh, it's kind of nice that we're using that piece of a pipe right there. Protect those two so there's cab on one side and roll bar on the other side so it'll protect those coolant lines from getting crushed in just in case too so that's, it was kind of a double deal there um, and we're hoping that that one piece of square tube is good uh, if we wanted it really really strong we'd put another piece of square tube going back and then it'd be solid but uh yeah what do you think on to the other side yeah i think we're ready for the other side this side should be good to go Awesome. How's it feel running a 16 hour day so far? I'm beat. And you still gotta go back to work tonight, which sucks because he's gonna miss the races tonight. So, but onward we go. The things we do for the things we love. Okay, um, it is 10 15. Uh, currently, the Brosif is working on the front fender mounts. Uh, we then have to do hood mounts, but I do have the one bedside hung and drilled out uh, and currently we're working on getting the bottom of the bedsides in place but its ride is here um, so we're behind uh, <laughs> gotta get uh, gotta get moving still got one bedside to completely completely mount and uh, like I said front bumper and hood pins um, there's still a handful of things I'd like to do like adjusting springs and stuff but I guess we're gonna be doing that at the racetrack so back to work trucks not necessarily done um, but we are currently in process of loading it and it is gonna be sent on its way it's got a lot of suspension adjustment and things like that to do but here's a quick look truck on the trailer that's right here we go it's race day I still got a modified to get ready um, and it is currently 
11 30 so we're more than an hour behind schedule great <laughs> oh man i really did myself a disservice when i when i buried this car <sighs> front end is put back together um i've started it i i was actually having carburetor issues the uh secondaries were not squirting um so I had to uh, take off the back bowl there um, and clean it out. Uh, I didn't actually find anything stuck in it. I, I, you know, I sprayed it out with some carb cleaner. All the, all the little orifices, orificeci, 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 orf, orf. No, that sounds like poo. Uh, or, anyways, um, uh, so now that's good. Uh, car. Uh, starts it runs um, it was running good oil pressure good fuel pressure look good um, all of that happy stuff uh, fluids look good um, you might remember the last video that we actually raced this thing um, my ignition switch went out um, right now the car is completely hardwired to my main switch uh, to my main power switch so uh, that means when my big on off switch is on everything's on and i can't uh, kill the ignition with the little switch but i do have a switch to replace it with um but i'm running out of time here so let's see here yeah it's two o'clock uh I, I i still got a I still got a bunch of mess to clean up um from the tough truck and from this uh, and I got to get the trailer ready to go. Um, I, I got a pack for the weekend. Um, and then my little sister is going to ride out with me and I got to go pick her up when she gets out of school. So, um, car is good enough for me to, uh, button it up get everything loaded and start going through, uh, that process so we can get to the racetrack. All right, guys, <clears throat> driving down the road. Races technically start in about 30 minutes. Uh, we are uh, about five minutes from the entrance uh, to the racetrack. And when I say we, I got my little sister with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> um, so this is probably gonna be absolutely crazy hitting the ground running. Um, I have to adjust the coilovers on the tough truck. I gotta get my race car unloaded. Uh, and I got to get that thing ready to race. Oh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be nutso. So, um, I will warn you now if my updates are few and far between, I apologize. I will update as much as I possibly can throughout the night. And I will definitely try to make sure that the camera is always in the car that I'm driving. Since again, I'm pulling triple duty tonight. Uh, I'll be racing the IMCA modified, the tough truck and Glenn Lee's uh, bootlegger bomber. So um, we were pretty successful the last time we drove his car. We'll see if we can uh, be that successful or more. So, all right, pulling up to the gate. Uh, time to get to work. I come rolling up and my tough truck is going down the road. <laughs> I think we're about there. Getting close? Yeah. Looks like it might need a little bit more. Cool. Yeah. There. Awesome. We'll see you in the pits. All right. <laughs> We're coming up the dirt road and I was like, that truck looks kind of familiar. Hey, that's my truck. <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. Um, I, I'm getting a little bit of help. Um, uh, Stevie and Jordan are jumping in and trying to uh, adjust the coilovers. We've been talking back and forth as I was going down the road. And they're like, ah, oh, it's sitting here. And I was like, oh, I'll put some more turns in it. Oh, it's sitting here. Oh, I'll put some more turns. So uh, we're getting there. We're getting close, so. All righty, guys. Um, still, still working on the tough truck. Uh, still trying to get set up. Wow, I just literally unpinned the mount and then walked off uh with the mount in my hand but the screw on it if you know how gopros work anyways uh still uh pretty much working on everything that's here but uh we got to go pack in the track 
um, but modified is at least out and mostly mostly ready to go uh, the tough truck has got um, some stuff to do to it still but uh, I'm gonna go out mud pack I'm not gonna make you guys watch that <sighs> and then uh, we're gonna move into heat races um, I am in the very back of the first heat race um, of the bootleggers I have no idea where I'm at in the modified so I'll have to go check that out later but uh, I gotta go my pack.
Okay, well, that all went by in a whirlwind. So let's see if I can recap here. Um, started off, I sang the national anthem, um, and then I started in the back of my heat in the bootlegger. Um, I think I forgot to turn the camera on at the start of that. I, I think I got the last part of it and um, I finished third. Um, so that was cool. Uh, and then I raced my modified. Um, I think I took uh, second in my heat. Yeah. I, I think I I think I took second in the heat. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. But um, and then uh, went out to run the tough truck and threw out all of the craziness. Um, I guess I, I had asked uh, for somebody to put five gallons of gas in the truck, and I I think it all went in there. And I don't know if the truck just drank it all or what, but. I think we were running out of gas and that's why it was running like poo. Um, we'll put a bunch of gas in it. All I know is it's completely out of gas now, uh, but we'll put some gas in it and try again tomorrow. And then, uh, uh, so after tough truck, we went out to run the bootlegger again. And um, I started uh, pretty far back. I think I started in the back of the field uh, was moving up and then a car that was up wide came down and pinched me into a into the huge mud berm um, and I think we broke a track bar because I lost a tire and then came in changed it lost another tire and we were like ah well just park it kind of stinks because uh, I didn't set this up for you but before I got in the car I was told that that car was sitting third or was sitting first in points by three points um, and we, I think we probably, we probably definitely lost that tonight. Uh, but there's one more points race. Let's see if we can win a championship for Glen Lee with it. Um, so that was kind of a kibosh. And then I came over and I put uh, fuel in the car. I had to transfer it out of the barrel in, in a huge, huge rush. Um, got the car filled, and um, I was a little, I was a little late for the lineup, but. Uh, uh, I don't really remember where I started. I think I started second row, second row inside. I ended up finishing third, I believe, uh, but the car did not fare that great. Give you a quick little, quick little overview. Uh, the bumper is hurting. Front nose is all mashed up. We got air a little bit. I think this was from I think a rut got us on that one. We'll have to look look at the video, but I think a rut got us on that one, but then the whole back bar is busted. And deck panel flew out, had to go track that down. But, I don't know, it was crazy. Um, long, long, long day. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm sorry, this update's kind of meh. Uh, but that's what happened. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, racing footage and stuff to go over. So I'm, I'll try to keep it brief. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions, comments, concerns down below. Um, Lumsden Motorsports Facebook page for t-shirts. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll come back and do it again tomorrow.